Logistics in the Air Force means getting the right thing to the right person in the right place at the right time. We're enablers and we're making sure that the things are there on time so that people can do their jobs. Oversee the flight line maintenance, the refueling, the launching, the recovery, the loading of these weapon systems. These are very complicated, highly evolved aircraft. The logistics career field is about everything that it takes to support the warfighter in the field, whether it's satellite, missiles, aircraft, ground movement, people, parts, planes, the whole package as well as precision measurement equipment, laboratory, calibrating, Air Force test measurement, diagnostic equipment. There are a variety of different positions in the logistics career field. Transportation to the delivery of parts, to storing parts, to fuel delivery, to getting our troops out of town. Hands on, moving the, moving the boxes, loading the airplanes. Program managers, logistics management officers, and then there's item managers, equipment specialists. A facility we're in here, it's our storage for the mobility bags, uh, weapons, and individual body armor for our deployers, our airmen, uh, both military and civilian. Right now I'm running about nine projects, totaling about $15 million worth of, of work there. We want to make sure that when we spend money, we spend it wisely because that is taxpayer money. Being a program manager is quite perfect for me. When you get to the end of a project and you hit that point, you can say we were successful. That is one of the most rewarding things ever. But at the end of the day, when I leave, I feel like I've done something, like I've made a difference. Me supporting my warfighter, it's serving your country. What I do does help them in their mission, and it is vital to the success of their mission at times. You're part of the nation's defense. Uh, you're taking care of those airmen that are going downrange. Putting the sharp edge on the spear for the guy to take in battle. Being able to take care of those folks and get those folks out of here and then get them back safely, that's really what makes it all worthwhile. It felt like a good way to continue serving without wearing the uniform anymore. You have lieutenants and captains, majors uh, enlisted. To me, other than the fact that they have to wear the same uniform every day, they're no different. The civilians in the Air Force you know, do the same jobs in a lot of cases as the officers or the enlisted and senior NCOs. The active duty and the civilian working relationships, they're very professional, they get along great. It's seamless. It doesn't matter where you come from or background, you have the opportunities for advancement. I'm currently pursuing my master's, and it's something that they were willing to, to actually pay for. They will repay back all of my student loans. They also pay for me to go back to school to get my master's degree. Logistics readiness today brings a lot of challenges, but brings a lot of opportunity. It's rewarding. I'm not getting too upbeat at home. Not getting too <laughs> it's, it's a calling. It's not just for everybody, but it's somebody that wants a rewarding job, willing to learn new things every day. Logistics is for them. Not many people are able to say that, hey, I love my job because it allows me to do the things that I like to do. My name is Sean Quill Posey, and I'm a logistics manager for the Air Force. I'm John Malone, uh, logistics manager with the 99th LRF. Rick Hennerly, I'm the director of logistics readiness division. My name is Jane Navarro. I'm a program manager here at Pearson Air Force Base. I'm Robert Townsend. I'm here as a career broadener at Pearson Air Force Base. My name is Robert Barber. I'm the deputy director of maintenance for the 57th Maintenance Group.